Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for the Planet Earth's most relevant newscast. Broadcasting from Sector 17G in the southwestern corner of the Milky Way galaxy, we present to you a program that is a strange combination of newsworthy and non-newsworthy. Funny at times and extremely non-funny at others, ladies and gentlemen, Earthlings and Mooners, may we present to you Belmont Live. Welcome to episode 20 of Vail Mount Live. We have a crackerjack show for you tonight, so sit down and relax. I'm Anne Marie Scott. And I'm Jody Newham. Vail Mount was lit up by the Olympic spirit last weekend. Indeed, it was. So tonight, we're going to show you some footage of the torch relay, including a one on one interview with Olympic torchbearer Dakota Stone. Andrew McCracken was missing in action on the night of the torch relay, likely reveling in an Olympic days high on the spirit of this extravagant event. So naturally, most of this footage was taken by cameraman Kevin Zamniak and his technical support group, William Snow and Amber Johnston. Stand by for Olympic revelry. Um, I don't know, I think it's kind of a great meeting of countries. It's kind of like, really, if you think about it, like it's one place where we're all kind of at peace. We're not like fighting against each other. So I think that's kind of neat. My run is from the hockey arena, and like I think to me that's so symbolic or great or whatever the word is, um, because that's pretty much where I grew up, really. Like I was there since I was like four and a half, and right up until like I still go there. So I think it's a great place to start my run, and to me it's like, it's perfect. I'm really excited anxious. Um, it kind of doesn't even feel like it's really going to happen tonight, but like it is. Like, But as soon as I put on the suit, I'm sure I'll be just shaking and going to the washroom every five seconds. Sure, there's up and downs to the Olympics and everything, and sure, it might not put us in the best ability, but you know what? I think that's something that we have to kind of look past. It's been done. There's nothing we can do about it. And I say, let's have a good time. story from the Creston Valley. According to a report in the Creston Valley Advance, published January 28th, residents of Windle are going to get a say in the future of the former Windle Elementary School property. In early 2007, a similar ad hoc committee in Valemount attempted to stop the sale of the old high school property to private developers. However, the school district offered few concessions. Residents of Windle, however, have the help of the new Ministry of Education's School Building Closure and Disposal Policy. The policy was implemented in 2008. It requires school boards to engage in broad consultations and enhanced planning before selling properties. 
Luckily, that policy wasn't introduced earlier, or we'd still have a giant lump of green space in the middle of town. We were lucky there.